Hello, water signs. How are you? You are dead. No, not water signs. God damn it, water. Gretchen. You need. Okay, well, whatever. It's not funny. Anyway, air signs, not water signs. Because my friends apparently are full of jokes and shit. Ten of cups, six of wands, ten of pentacles. Air signs? That's a lot of fucking cards. I have to say, it seems like you all are, um, I mean, this is your card for the week as Miss PJ. I can't remember your last name, I'm sorry. Um, would list out, but it's like you're unhappy. You're wanting a reason to stay despite the fact that, um, there's a lack of closure involved in this somehow, right? So, let's see what's going on with you. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, welcome to the Shadows of Judgment. For any of you who are new to my channel, this is where I look at the nooks, the crannies. What goes on in the circle, what goes on on the outside of the circle. The all four corners. That tells us what's going on with the subconscious, the shadow side, things that you might not even know is influencing around you or what's bubbling up to surround you. One of the two. It's however you want to look at it, right? Right. This is just a weekly thing. This is for the 23rd to the 30th of August. Air signs. This is for sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Please check your charts. If this resonates with you, good deal. If not, do not worry about it. It's just a card game after all. It won't resonate with you if you don't believe in it. Or maybe it will and it'll surprise you. Just loop on your nose and we'll find out eventually, right? And if you want a personal reading, my email, Facebook, and Instagram are all in the description box below. First reading's free of charge. Everything else comes with the price, of course. And I do accept tips and donations. Thank you very kindly in advance. Gemini, we got your card reversed and you feel a little bit selfish about something you don't know? <clears throat> oh, well, that was pretty fucking quick. <laughs> My oldest sister is a Gemini. God bless her. But when the devil can't get to you, they send a Gemini. I won't say that much. Did you just freeze on me? Okay. Son of a bitch. Anyway, um... Gemini, so far, something, you've been given a choice, and you're not sure what to pick, and you're kind of trying to be selfish about it. Okay, for reals, for reals, and it's kind of got you losing your patience a little bit, too, when it comes to trying to be getting a victory that it doesn't seem like you're getting any movement with anywhere, despite the fact that, you know, like, you're trying to listen to this shit, but it's like, it's, you didn't. It's almost like something happened to where you weren't listening to somebody, and now every, there is no change, everything's stalled and shit, right? That's all based on some enabling behaviors that probably didn't work out for the best. You were trying to open a door somehow. You're kind of like, ah, I can't sleep. I can't eat. I'm just sitting here singing. I don't know if that's even the right words to that song, but you know. Someone was looking for a reason to stick around. We Cancer Pisces Scorpio still got their eye on hoping and wishing that something can be resurrected. Gemini, your shadow of judgment this week. There is, I feel like, a choice not made. Could have been involving you, it doesn't have to be. And somebody lost their patience with that because they were tired of messing with the bullshit that came with the enabling behaviors. But they're still kind of looking for a reason to stick around, or at least somebody is, right? Now there's a high priestess here that either has secrets or somebody's ignoring their intuition, and that's why things aren't moving ahead. And they're being plagued by that. Um, their heart's kind of set with the Queen of Cups on trying to resurrect something so they can stick around. Unfortunately, they haven't done anything that was necessarily considered work to cause the change to happen. The Eight of Wands is reversed, right? 
So now we got the King of Cups reversed up here, and he's the counterpart to the Queen of Cups. And it's like he's all selfish and shit, thinking he's going to get a victory just opening the door. But then it's like he's almost surprised that it's not happening. And it's just like you aren't doing the work to get that door open in the first place. You know, It takes more than just trying to administer what it is you want for yourself to just open the door. Ah, blah, 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 blah. There's a the tower. There's the tower. Maybe this will tell us why. Okay. Yeah, you, it, like, you just can't wish for something to change. You, you kind of got to start taking... Like, if you wanted to assemble a bicycle, you wouldn't just sit there, stare at all the parts, and be like, I will that this bike gets started. And then actually sit there and think that the universe is going to piece it together for you when you have all the tools and everything you need to put the bike together yourself. You can sit there and be like, I wish this bike was put together. But if you don't put the actual energy into um, putting this bike together when you have all the ability to do it yourself and not expect the universe to do it for you, the universe isn't going to do it for you. You know, it's a 50-50 way street. You want the bike put together? Yes, the universe will help you put the bike together. Give you the intuition to know how to put the bike together. Like it is your reality. Like you're meant to do that. But it's not going to just automatically do it for you. If you want that energy to be distributed back to you, you have to put that energy out to the universe to begin with. That's the whole point. Yeah. Which I think is the tower moment for this person, and then they realize they have to invest stuff in. Or else, every time they make a wish fulfillment, it just ends up being a simple booty call and nothing else more with it, Gemini. It's like, if you aren't putting enough energy in to create something of substance, the substance will be hindered. Mm. Excuse me, I was drinking my coffee. But that was your reading, Gemini. Okay, Libra. Ah, I almost dropped all of those. It's your turn for this week. My neighbor finally came back to the house after two fucking weeks. He's worried as shit about that dude. I don't think he's coming back. Which is fine. That's what that that's just what you guys do. You just kind of disappear and shit. It, but it's just kind of like I don't know why you. I don't know why some Libra do that where they just disappear. I understand being a gypsy soul and all that shit, but it's like why? But that's just the Capricorn in me talking. I mean, I can understand the whole needing to move and needing to change things. But to just utterly disappear without letting people know that you're still alive is just like, you know. Mm -hmm. But it's whatever. Oop, and your card just came up. What do you got? We got the Emperor. Somebody's taking control. They're looking back at the past and being like, you know what? I've already done this shit. I know exactly how it will end. So I will rule accordingly to what I know. Right? Right. And we got the sun. You're about to make yourself happy. Also could deal with a Libra, or not a Libra, Leo. Also, um, Aries and Leo in this as well with the Emperor. I think he represents somebody else, but I can't remember. Now, there's an open door right here that the Emperor is not looking at. But he's sending out spies to figure out that shit for him. This happy... Wow, what? Okay, Libra! For the list, okay, look at dude, look, 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 look. I kind of get it. A little bit, because I, I, like, I don't think this is you as much as the um, circumstances that you're dealing with. But it's like, you guys already know, because back in the day, you were this young page of swords, and that information you're fishing for in the back of your mind. But it's like you're also recognizing that this open door can't be opened with somebody with it being back on their bullshit, right? Like, look at this dude. Like, the page of pentacles to me reverse is a fucking idiot who isn't offering anything at all. And you guys should be able to recognize that if you haven't already before this week even starts. Um, whatever was happiness or whatever made you happy, that shit's dead now. Like, that just, like, you might have came by, like, the angel of death. All like, oh, everyone's gonna suffer. 
No one's gonna breathe. Look at me. I got a flag and some teeth. You know? Mm. You ran back to talk in the past and you feel like this is a waste of time. Mm. Ew. Ew. Okay. Uh, leap out? As the Emperor, you are remembering when you took information at face value and charged in without really thinking or understanding what it was you were fighting against. You just went in because it was just like one of those judgment calls where it was just like, motherfucker isn't disrespecting me for shit. Like, they're gonna learn respect one way or another. Get on get, and, and then you went and get on getting. But that involved a lot of shady shit involved here, right? And there was a, a an open door here, possibly with the Gemini. You never know. But like, there was definitely something here with the um, Four of Wands. But unfortunately, the Page of Pentacles offered some really shady shit. So now, like that, would, you know, no justice, no peace. That's just how it goes. And someone's got to sneak away after the bullshit they pulled. Um, their happiness has died, and now they, and now they're out of time. Ew. Whoever you're dealing with, Libra, they are not going to be doing very well. Mind you, crosswatch your switch where you need to, if you have to. Don't be coming in here telling me that I'm reading for the wrong person, because I have no idea. I'm just reading the messages. You get to decide who's who. Let's see. Something didn't work out when it came to, like, trying to close out this world's business. Like, something... Something... No. Something just did not. Right? Someone was way too selfish with their emotions and feelings. Didn't really take into account that there was a lot of indecision to be made. Or someone couldn't come to a decision. And... <clears throat> Excuse me. Libra, that's your card when it comes to the court cards, the Queen of Swords, and it's like someone just kind of cut some people out without really considering or going over why it is they were doing so. They were just a scorned woman, and it was kind of like one of those things where it's like, per it's like scorch the earth kind of thing. You know, you don't know who to trust, you don't know who to go to, so it's just like, fuck, everyone's gotta die. Everyone's got, like, just take all of their heads off. It'll work just fine. I'll figure it out one way or another. Um, you know, if they're all dead, I don't have to worry about any of the mean traitors. You know, it's one of those things. Like, it's really harsh energy, but it's effective. So, you know, you're not wrong. Well, you're not entirely wrong, I will say. But that is your reading, Libra. Aquarius! Hey, Darius! Let's see what's coming up for your Shadow of Judgment this week. I think I'm gonna start on dinner, because I'm hungry. My husband can eat the leftovers. Alright, Aquarius, you're not uh, communicating with shit. That's your card, so I'm just assuming that's you, right? And you are, you're not communicating and you're not working on dick. Not a damn, if you do, you're going to do it wrong on purpose. Because you apparently have some, like, cups that got knocked over when you tried to communicate last time. And trying to put your cups into something that isn't going to work is a waste of your time. You want out of the petty drama? You're bored with it, you're tired of it, it wears you out. This right here might be something you're not clear about, though. Like, like you know you don't want to work on this shit anymore, but the answer as to why is still unclear to you. It's like you're still in the midst of the shit, you know. You are trying to judge accordingly, or you're dealing with a Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries. It probably leaves you feeling a little bit bitter about shit, and you just want out of it. Oh, there's his counterpart. She's just looking over this shit like, you know what? You're a dick. What I don't know just bothers me a lot. Yeah, he isn't offering his love to her as much as he's trying to turn his back to her to assert his rightness. But things are gonna die. She's tired of him, like, giving her bullshit, so she's giving bullshit back. And someone might 
might just start cutting people out of like I just told um a qu Libra scorched earth and Aquarius this could definitely be you too I feel like you and Libra share the same court cards and you could easily be going on this mind you I really think that Aquarius is more cutthroat than like Libra is because like Aquarius you just shut your emotions off almost as quickly as Capricorns and Virgos do like you know how not to care which is really dangerous but you're the least dangerous of them all because Libras have fucking feelings and shit you kind of do but you don't know how they work so it's not as bad <laughs> sorry for a little jest but like yeah it's like Aquarius you're trying to get out of the situation because you know it brings out the worst in you you want that shit to end. Um, your emperor is just looking over stuff, and that's not good enough for you, right? Um, they leave you feeling like your cups are just knocked over. Well, they sit there and judge you, but won't offer the cup up to you. That makes you really nettle, and then you're just like, you know what, you're an idiot. I don't have the patience to deal with an idiot, and because you aren't getting clarity, you're not going to be working on things with the situation. What will happen if you just start going queen of swords on this some bitch? Because we all need to know how crazy we're all going to be. Well, first off, you're gonna make <laughs> you're gonna make it a living hell for him. First off, uh, in order to make yourself feel better for being left out in the cold because you wanted to come back in, you're willing to give up on like actually trying to work on things, and you're more interested on working on yourself more than anything. Aquarius, this person like just honestly pisses you off a lot more than you want to admit and less than you know but you don't figure it out till you actually go inside and then and, and are just like you know what I'm done with this it's over you know but air signs that's what I've gotten for you so far for your shadow of judgment if any of y'all enjoyed this video you are welcome to like share and subscribe of course no pressure but I would greatly make me feel happier you know but i love you all and i will see you later take care of yourselves bye, -bye.